Hi everyone, this is 77 and welcome back to 25 years of Need for Speed. This is the series where I play every game in the Need for Speed series from 1994 to now, ending with Need for Speed Heat, hmm, we have a name now don't we, later in the year. If this is your first time, the way this works is that I'll introduce the game I'm playing and then show you some gameplay. Then I'm going to tell you how I feel about the game today and tell you if I think it holds up in 2019. As always, timestamps these sections will be in the description. The year was still 2010. Bungie released their last Halo, we pretended that airplanes were shooting stars, Flynn lives and Electronic Arts pay tribute to the classic era of Need for Speed with Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was heavily inspired by 1998's Need for Speed 3 and 2002's Hot Pursuit 2 and aimed to pay tribute to those games as well as bring the premise of those games into the modern day. As a result, the game mostly featured exotic cars and was set in the exotic fictional location of Seacrest County. Just like past Hot Pursuit games, the player is able to play as either a racer or a cop as there's now a career path for each role. The game featured all new social functionality titled Autolog. This allowed players to easily compete with their friends as well as see how their friends performed in events with updated leaderboards for each event. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit was developed by Criterion Games and DICE for Xbox 360, PS3 and PC. The game was also developed for the Wii by Extent Entertainment. A mobile version was also released. This was developed by Iron Monkey. The game released on consoles and PC on the 16th of November in North America. The mobile version released on iOS worldwide on the same day with ports to other platforms arriving sometime after. In this video, I'll be playing the PC version. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, here we are and we are looking at the main menu and you can see just by looking at how integrated it is to like the social functionality that this game has. Like you can like view like photos and like see your wall and all that uh, you know there's a huge social focus in this game but anyway we're gonna go ahead and play the career mode no expense to redline it all the way redline need for speed redline confirmed so tonight the way this is gonna work is that the, for the first half of this gameplay section i'm gonna be playing as a racer and then for the second half i'm gonna be playing as a cop and the very first race roadsters reborn oh i remember this here we go let's go ahead and pick the porsche boxer spider this is the only car we can drive for this event i think so we're gonna go ahead and hop right in pick a color oh what do i pick oh i quite like the carrera white here let's 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 go with this all right we'll finish first we have six thousand bounty we're racing at three in the afternoon it's gonna be a nice sunny day Fantastic. Well, let's see if we can beat my old time, 3 minutes 38. Ooh, let's go! Oh, here we are. Look at this. Oh man, it's been such a long time since I've played this game. Let's try and do some nitrous here. Pass. Ooh, break. There we go. Oh no, no, don't pass me. No, no, no. Whoa. Oh, let's get a nice drift here. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Boost. Oh, fantastic. Got him. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's do a nice drift around this corner. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. We're driving on the Grand Ocean Road, not to be confused with the Great Ocean Road here in Australia. Oh, oh don't, don't, oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, that's an oof. Uh, I've mentioned this in like just about every like episode of the series, but it feels so weird to play this game without the oh T-Mobile, <laughs> oh price placement. Uh, but yeah, it feels so weird to play this game without like the music. Like I remember like listening to like the soundtrack in this game like a fair amount actually, because I actually quite like the soundtrack in this game. Found new shortcuts, fantastic. Off-road drifting in a Porsche. Oh, this is that long shortcut, isn't it? The one that goes under the bridge. Oh no. There we go. Whoa. Oh, I'm actually kind of close to beating my old time of 3.38. Oh, hopefully I can do it. Oh, I did it. Oh, look at that. Nine seconds off. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. I remain first on my speed <laughs> <laughs> no one else is on it. <laughs> oh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, get all the bounties. 
Yes, new car awarded. Mazda RX-8. Oh, oh, hello. Rotary Revolution. Cost thirty thousand dollars. Not bad. Dodge Charger. Get in. Get reborn. Oh, man, those taglines, those slogans, man. <laughs> All right, let's go over to. Eagle Crest. Oh, I remember this is like the snowy area. First offense, our first hot pursuit event. Oh, fantastic. Let's, let's do this. Ooh, what do we pick? We got an RX-8. We got Charger. Oh, let's drop the RX-8. Why not? Why not? Let's do it. Well, let's go. Let's go classic Mazda Red here. Let's go. All right, we're racing at 5 p.m. Uh, it's a bit cloudy today, but oh well, no big deal. Oh boy, here we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass, pass you guys. We're gonna take the shortcut here. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> oh, bad. That was poor judgment on my part there. <laughs> oh, there's a copper. Oh, hello, Crown Victoria. How you doing? Eh, there we go. Oh, that nearly took him out. Look at that. Oh. Hello, Kapu again. Oh, 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 I'm gonna do a takedown on him. Nope, didn't work. Oh, another one. Oh, 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 that was beautiful. Oh, he's still on me. Come on. Hey! <laughs> got, got a nice drift for me. Thank you very much. Oh, yes, now's my chance. Yes, there we go. Oh, that was satisfying. <laughs> I forgot how satisfying that was. Oh no! Ooh, he's still on me. Oh my gosh! How are you still going? How's no one else taking you out? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come get me! Come get me! Come get me! Come back! Come on! Ooh. Okay, that's a good hit. Not gonna lie, that's a good hit. That's a good hit. Come on! Come on! Come catch me! Come catch me! You can do it! You can do it! You can do it! Oh, I've lost him. Good! 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 I have fallen beneath my previous time. Oof! Oh well, that's fine. This is fine. A hey, free to roadblock. <laughs> the worst roadblocks ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wanda's level increased. I'm a suspect now. Ooh, Lancer Evolution X. Oh, fantastic. All right, what we got next? We got a big a duel in in the Big Timber Forest, and we got a preview event where you get to drive the. Oh, we get to drive the cover car. Okay, okay. Let's get some high speed going. Why not? Why not? Oh, here we go. All right, let's go. Ooh, oh man. This game still looks gorgeous, like, for a game that came out nine years ago, like, this game has, doesn't feel like it's aged very much. Which just shows you, like, you know, how you don't need, like, powerful hardware to make a really pretty looking game, like, like, this game ran fine on, like, you know, an Xbox 360, you know, which had parts that came out in, like, 2005, like, this game looks, looks great still, it's incredible. I'm about to get gold. Ooh. Oh, there we go. All right, let's do that duel. Okay, we only have the uh, Lancer Evo for this event. That's fine. Let's drive this. We're going to have some rain in this track, which is very, very nice. I like these like little showcases they do before each event, just to show you how exotic this location is. Let's tear it up on these coastal roads. Yeah, here we go. Going to do a nice drift here. Oh, fantastic. There we go. There we Oh, deep, deeper. There we go go oh sweet man this game really brings me back i remember when this game was uh, first announced like at e3 in 2010 if you watch my hopper suit 2 video you remember i mentioned how hopper suit 2 was actually my first like navy speed game that you know, that i ever played like it was the first one I ever like played when i was a kid like before this game was announced i thought there was no way they'd ever make a another hopper suit uh, style game you know and then when this game was announced at e3 like you know it was like Insane, like, I, I, I was so excited, because, like, because this game, like, you know, aimed to be, like, you know, a tribute to the Hot Pursuit games in the past, and, like, you know, a return to that era of Need for Speed, and I was really excited, you know, hopeful that they pull it off, and, you know, the game came out, and it was critically acclaimed and everything. I really wanted to play it, but I didn't have a console, like, a PS3 or 360, nor did I have a PC that was capable of running it. Like, the old laptop I had back then, like, barely ran, needs to be undercover at, like, 20 frames per second. There was no way it could run this. Uh, until, like, June of 2011, like, whenever, like, me and the family would go to, um, the shopping center to, like, buy our groceries for the week, I'd go to the EB Games, and there would be, like, a little station set up of, like, consoles, and, um, on each set of machines, there would be one playing Hot Pursuit, and I'd just go there and just play Hot Pursuit, like, an hour e each week. For like six months <laughs> and then when i finally got a new computer you know this is like one of the first games i tried on it, it ran beautifully and you know it was great <laughs> all right what we got next 
Oh, another opposite breach of the peace. Let's see, let's do this. We got equipment. Finally. Spike strip. Yeah, I'm not just sure how to feel about races having spike strips. I like it feels a bit out of character. Like I feel like maybe they should have like had like a racer equivalent to a spike strip rather than give races a spike strip. Like for example, like an oil slick or something. I don't know. Oh, let's try for the BMW Z4. Yeah, let's get that going. Yeah, let's go deep sea blue. All right, all right. We're driving at six in the morning. Why? Who does races at six in the morning? Ugh, I don't know. Anyway, we got four spy strips we can use. Let's let's use them. All right, here we go. Oh, we go. We got our spy strips ready as well. We can use them whenever. Oh, we got some copies up ahead. Who is this? Hello. Ford Police Interceptor Concept, fantastic. Oh yeah, thanks for helping me drift. Oh no, that wasn't very helpful actually. Oh no 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 no. Oh, oh my gosh, I didn't crash out. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna just back ship the suit. There we go. Yes! We got him. Oh no, level one roadblock. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I took him down. Oh no. Oh, that's dirty. That is dirty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, he was smoking. I had to do it to him, you know. <laughs> oh, I got another copy right behind us. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yes, <laughs> two spike strips. Whoa! Oh, I hit him though. Uh, it's all quiet right now on the eastern front. Uh, no, no cops in sight. It's just a racer. So it's all good. Train yard. Doing some training. Uh, Minecraft speed these days. Let's go into the mine. Only a kilometer away from the finish. Let's use some nitrous so we can hopefully maybe beat our time. We're not going to beat the time. It's only two seconds off. Oh no. If I was just a little bit quicker, I could have. <gasps> I was too busy looking at the time. <laughs> huh? My controller disconnected. Okay, we're back. Oh, okay. This is this is weird. Oh, I'm still in first place, that's fine. It was right behind me though. <laughs> oh, that's such a bad screw up then. Oh no. Alright, so that will be all the eraser events that we'll be doing for this video. We're going to go ahead and do some cop events. Alright. Boulder Desert, let's go. Chase 101. An erratic driver in a smashed up car should be an easy bus for a new recruit. Let's do it. You are authorized to use any available force to bring the suspect in. Oh, fantastic. Even lethal. Oh, classic. And if we get him in a minute, we get a distinction. Ooh. Alright, let's get him. Oh, oh hello, Sonny. Oh, how you doing? How you doing? Oh, stop boosting. Stop boosting. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Let me hit it. Let me hit it. Let me hit it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's beautiful. A little cheeky hit there. Cheeky hit there. Yes, there we go. Oh, beautiful. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Textbook textbook. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And I think I beat my time as well. 20 seconds that took. Oh, an RX-8. Oh, looky that. All right, that was a nice little teaser. Let's go ahead and do another. All right, let's go right ahead and do our first Hot Pursuit event. Oh, here we are. Chilling here in my donuts. All right, let's get these peeps. Come on, slow down for me. Slow down for me. Come on. Help an old man out. Come on. There we go. Oh, your bumper's screwed, dude. Oh, come on. Come on. Take yourself out. There we go, finally, roll. Yeah, nice hit there. Oh, you're going down, Jared, you're going down. Yes! Oh, that's sent him flying, look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, full on just rear end there. Uh, just one cheeky hit, that's all you need. Uh, nice and basic, nice and simple, underneath the car, oh. I'm starting to believe that these cops just don't take any prisoner, like, that's a hardcore crash that you just caused there. I have been promoted, promoted! Cadet 2, Electric Boogaloo, fantastic. Alright, let's go to the Grand Ocean Coast and do an Interceptor. Yeah, let's drive this concept car here. We've got five roadblocks that we can use. Alright, let's get this dude. Roadblock, <laughs> straight away. Oh, right ahead. Oh, that was a that was a decent hit, not, oh, not bad, is it? Ah! Oh, that was so quick! <laughs> he did a me! Oh no! Oh, 12 seconds! <laughs> he didn't even reach the roadblock. Oh, 370Z! Oh, sweet! Oh, it's beautiful, look at that. Alright, we've got ourselves another interceptor event right here. Your vehicle has been equipped with spike strips. Ooh, let's use them, let's go. Alright, oh, we have to drive the 370. We have to drive this thing. Let's go. Oh. Oh crap, no! 
Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, no, he's about to get away. Oh, I got him this time. I'm right behind him. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank you very much, Traffic Carter. You are of great help. Oh, that's a that's a cooperative takedown. That a cooperative takedown. That driver deserves a medal right there. That would not have been possible without him. Oh, we got another hot pursuit event here. I think this is the first night event we're doing in this video. All right, you speeders, gonna get you. Oh, who's in fourth place? Hello there, in RX8. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh. Oh, let's go, let's go. There we go. Oh, beautiful. So one thing the new Need Speed games is missing is this effect. Oh, that nitrous effect was so good back in the day. Oh, no. <laughs> I got juked. For a roadblock. They're getting away. Alright, hit, hit my roadblock. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Oh, that's a hit there. That's a hit. Oh, they're all hitting it. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay, they're all behind me now. That was a very successful roadblock, that. Oh my gosh. Ghost, if you're watching this video, I have an idea for a vanity item. Bring back the tail light nitrous thing! Put another roadblock to stop him. Oh, beautiful hit there. Alright, now to get the distinction with this last dude. Yes! Spice strip takedown. Fantastic. Shut down. Highway patrol events now available. Ooh. Audi TT highway patrol unit. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got ourselves another interceptor event, this time with the highway patrol unit. And we have EMPs. So let's, let's, let's go. Let's do this. Ooh, BMW M3 is on the run. Is this the most wanted fugitive that remains most wanted? Oh, let's get a checky EMP on him. Oh, if I take the corner though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's jammed me. Oh, I'll get another one on you. Oh, another cheeky hit there. Oh, he's behind me now. Oh, break. Nope. Oh, I'm jammed again. Yeah, another one. I got more. I got more, boy. Come on, where are you? Where are you? Oh, come on, hit me, hit me. Come on. Yeah, hit me. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, it's flipped. Oh, he's, he's still driving on him. <laughs> oh, get dosed, boy. Get dosed. Ah, oh, Maserati Gran Turismo. All right, we got a nice interceptor event called Spike Out. Last night, a suspect was seen using spike strips against SCPD units. There is a new threat out there. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be a dangerous one. I can't get too close. Yeah, let's try after the Maserati. Why not? Let's go. Oh, I'm coming towards you. Oh, don't get too close behind him, though. This dude's dangerous. Yeah, there we go. I don't have any spice ships of my own, however. Whoa, no, 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 no. You're not gonna get me with that one. Oh, I can't get this AMP. No, 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 no! Oh, we drove straight into it! Oh! Another roadblock! Alright, let's, let's go out. Let's meet him on the other side. Oh! Bad tactic there. Bad tactic. Did not work. Yes! Oh, I missed him! Oh, what? He just took me out! <laughs> My car is nearly gone. This has not gone well for me at all. I can only get a merit now. Oh, no, no, no. You're not finishing me off. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm very, very much screwed now. Um. Oh, crap. Oh, no, he took me out! No! I have to retry. Okay, that one did not end the way that I expected it to, but it's okay. I'm gonna restart. Having learnt my mistakes. What have I learned from the last attempt? Be good. That's all I got out of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, 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 oh,
I'll start off with the biggest change that this game brought to the series, the Break to Drift handling model. This was and still is a very controversial addition to the series as it's a heavily debated mechanic that remains in the series to this day. Before I go any further, I need to say that I'm personally not a fan of this handling model in later games in the series as I feel that it doesn't work very well with the tighter level design of the newer titles. But in this game, with its wide long roads and off-road shortcuts, the break to drift handling actually fits the game quite nicely in my opinion. There's plenty of room on the road to ease your car into a drift, and the transition into and out of a drift is rather seamless that never felt jarring to me. There's not a lot in the way of car customization in this game, but I guess that's to be expected as this is a hot pursuit game, and those games were never known for their customization options. Instead, the hot pursuit games were known for allowing the player to participate in epic chases while driving exotic cars in exotic locations as either a racer or a cop. And in my opinion, this game has managed to take all the boxes in order to make it worthy of being a hot pursuit game. First of all, the police chases are intense and action packed, with police doing whatever they can to take you down. The car list is comprised of mostly exotic vehicles and they are absolutely beautiful. The game's setting, Seacrest County is a sight to behold, with multiple different biomes that are very reminiscent of the exotic locations in past hot pursuit games. And finally, you can play as either a racer or a cop. You can tell by playing this game that Criterion set out to create a faithful reimagining of the previous Hot Pursuit games and in my opinion, they have absolutely nailed it and not only that, they even put their own spin on the formula. There's a greater focus on crashing, not surprising given Criterion's history, the car damage and crashes themselves look spectacular. I do take issue with the crash cam that's in the game. I feel that it just lasts a little too long and it's quite inconsistent. Sometimes you expect a crash, but you don't, and other times you have what you think is a minor collision, only for it to turn out to be a full on crash. Also, I'm not a fan of how you can take down other racers as a racer, it just didn't really make sense to me. And finally, we have the Pursuit Tech system. Overall, I enjoy this mechanic as it adds another layer of depth to the game, but I do have one question, why do racers have spike strips? I assume it's a balancing thing as I'm guessing Criterion wanted the racers to have a weapon that they can use behind them, but why spike strips? In my opinion, it's a bit out of character for a racer to use a spike strip on a cop. Instead, couldn't have there been a racer equivalent to a spike strip that functions kind of similar to it, like an oil slick or something, I don't know. But anyway. Does Need for Speed Hot Pursuit hold up in 2019? Yes, it definitely does. It remains a fantastic game today, and if you are a fan of the older Hot Pursuit games, you'll really enjoy this game. If you've never played any of the Hot Pursuit games, I still reckon you should give this game a shot. It still plays great today, and if you play on PC, the game is still available for purchase on Steam and Origin. You shouldn't need to install any tweaks or mods to get this game to work nicely on Windows 10 either, but like always, if you run into any issues, feel free to consult the PC Gaming Wiki page for Need for Speed Hot Pursuit, or ask for help on the Need for Speed subreddit or Need for Speed Discord. This has been the 16th episode of 25 Years of Need for Speed, where I play 2010's Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. In the next episode, we'll be driving to 2011, with Slightly Mass Studios' Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. Haven't actually played this one before, so if you want to see that as soon as it's released, then click subscribe. Other than that though, I hope you're having a very nice day. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.